Hey guys, and welcome to the Restaurant and Bar Marketing Podcast. This is your host, Eric Schellenberger, coming to you from Los Angeles, California. So I'm going to do another AI video, and this one may be the most important one, because this uh, video, I'm going to break down how to understand how AI will find our restaurant or bar online, how it will rank us accordingly, where it puts us in the list of all the rest of the competition around you. So I did several chapters in my books on SEO, search engine optimization. That's what I do for a living. And that's how I help my clients get to the top of the Google results. But really the, um, and I think I said this one in the last podcast, but the statistic is by 2026, Google's going to lose 25% of its search volume. That is a whole bunch of search volume. It's going to lose it to AI, which is not a bad thing. As long as we're positioned correctly to show up in all those AI searches ahead of our competition. And now is the time, now is almost too late to get on the bandwagon to get yourself positioned well with these AI computers. So we're at the top of those lists when people start changing their behavior over to searching for restaurants near me, that type of search through ChatGPT, through Gemini, through any one of these AI computers. So there's three basic rules of becoming visible and becoming uh, very relevant in the AI searches. And the first one is going to be consistency. So make sure all of your information is consistent, meaning don't have your hours of operation different on the website as they are on your Google business page, as they are on your Yelp page, your TripAdvisor page, or uh, Bing. And I'll get to Bing in a second, which is actually a player again. Uh, make sure all this information is exactly the same. Make sure your, your contact information obviously is right. Make sure your Google attribute questions are correct. So the Google attributes are those 50 or 60 yes or no questions that you can find in your Google business page. And they have to do with kind of the ancillary things of what you offer, not necessarily who you are as a restaurant, but do you offer a gender neutral restroom? Do you offer outdoor patio seating? Do you offer heated patio seating? Do you allow dogs? Do you have parking nearby? Is there a valet? Do you have a braille menu, which I've never, ever had a client say yes to that one, but Apparently, um, what's called an, a Braille menu and assisted hearing loops for the hard of hearing and the blind are a thing. So, sounds cool. I mean, if you if you have those type of customers, by all means, do that. So anyway, these these attribute questions have to be filled out every single one of them. And if you if you can't say yes to it, don't leave a blank. Say no. Say no is is very. It's being thorough. It's giving Google and giving these AI computers the information they need in order to rank you. So if somebody has a, uh, let me get to that in a second. I'm going to, I'm going to break down how people are going to start to search for restaurants in the future. I've gone through it in a, in a podcast in the past, but I think it bears repeating. So stay consistent with all of your information. Make sure it's, it's hundred percent matching, no matter how minute the detail and don't forget any platforms. Don't forget your website. Uh, if you have a web guy who fell off the face of the earth and won't return your emails or phone calls, cool. Get another one, get another one now and make sure it's right. Not only is it annoying to the, to the public, if they, your, your website hours, say you close at four, they show up at three and you're already closed. Yeah, that's going to piss that guy off. But more importantly, AI computers do not like inconsistent information. They don't like guessing. They won't guess. They'll just say next and they'll go on to the next restaurant. So the other one is to be visible is to be everywhere is to have a presence on as many of these platforms as you can possibly have. So Google's awesome. Of, of course, all the basics I'm sure you have down, but have you optimized your basic profiles? Like, have you gone through TripAdvisor and answered every single question? Have you uploaded new photos? Have you gone through and optimized those photos? My fourth book has a whole chapter on how to optimize your photos for the correct size to name them correctly to research the keywords through ChatGPT so we know what people are typing in to TripAdvisor to get to you, to find you, and putting those keywords in the meta information of the photo. So the all these photos, matter of fact, TripAdvisor makes you put meta information, meaning it makes you describe what this photo is. And if you're using keywords to describe your photos, as long as they match, make sure the keyword matches the photo and it makes sense. As long as it's matching the photo, and it has traffic going to that keyword, it's definitely gonna help you. It's gonna help you more and more in the future once AI computers ramp up and start using this stuff almost exclusively. Anyway, B, B is, is there's, there's hundreds or thousands of directories around the internet that you could be on. And 
the problem is most people have never really heard of a lot of the directories that are that are at our disposal. So, you know, the basics, we got we got the, the search engines, the social media pages, TripAdvisor, Yelp, all that stuff. And then you start getting into some weird ones that I, as a business, Bar Marketing Basics adds all my clients to these weird ones. They're things like YP.com, which is the new yellow pages, which nobody is going to ever search that's, that's younger than 70 is going to search you on YP.com and find you and make a visit. It's just not a realistic thing. But... AI computers, especially ChatGPT, uses YP.com. And so if these computers are looking for, hey, I need, to, I need to know what's, I need to find a person. I need to find this, a business. Who does this service? And ChatGPT is going to YP.com and you're not there because you've never heard of it. That's going to be a detriment. So make sure you're on all these weird ancillary ones, Hot Frog 24 7. Uh, city search or city links. I can't remember what the name of it is. That's how obscure it is. Uh, make sure you're on all the GPS systems in the new cars. Make sure you're on all the voice commands, Siri, Alexa, Google Assistant. You've got to have a presence, not just a listing, an optimized presence, meaning every field, field is pulled out, filled out. Every photo is available. All your photos are optimized. They're all named keywords. They're all, uh, they're all the most meta information you could possibly stuff into all those, I guess, those fields. So the AI computers don't really want to take your word for it on one or two of these, uh, these, these platforms and, uh, and kind of make an educated guess if this is a right fit for the person searching the, uh, for them online. The third one is, are these listings and is your information coming from a trusted source? AI is very big on trustworthiness. Are these platforms trustworthy? Do they trust the source of the information? Google is obviously trustworthy. Apple Maps, in my opinion, not very trustworthy because Apple will like to take our edits that we give it. I'm a business owner. I know what my hours are. I know the information I'm plugging into Apple since I claimed it. They verified that I claimed it. I'm the rightful owner of the Apple Maps page. Yet Apple decides to take my edit and uh, maybe we'll change it. Maybe we won't. Maybe we'll do it in two days. Maybe we'll do it in 90 days. Maybe we'll not make the change at all. Apple thinks it knows better about your business's information than you do. Awful platform. I've said it a million times. I cannot despise Apple Maps and the Apple platform any worse. It's absolutely terrible. Once your information is all accurate, once it's consistent, the trustworthy factor goes up. So once these computers are trusting not only the, the content of your information, but the source of the information. So you don't want to use any of these weird black hat techniques, which, which put your, all your information out there on these weird platforms that are India based or China based or whatever, that's going to hurt you. Don't take a cheap, easy way out. That's going to be a, a lot worse. Once all these elements are put together, that's kind of when the magic happens. And that's when AI recognize you as a trusted source with a whole bunch of information that's very accurate and it's very well done then they'll put you toward the, search, the top of these searches. I'm going to go over a scan of what, uh, if you're listening to this on, on the podcast, this is, this is a kind of a visual part, but uh, if you go to barmarketingbasics.com and you go to scan your restaurant or bar, then you can, you can scan your own place. You can see what, where are these directories you're missing from. It'll give you a very clear picture of yeah, you're, you're on Google, but you have some errors. You're, yeah, it finds your Facebook page. It finds Bing, Yahoo, but you have errors. Some of them are going to be consistent. Some of them are going to be correct. If they're correct, great. If they're missing completely, we've got to fill those in. So what I do at Bar Marketing Basics is I have software that will sync your business's presence to all these directories. So it's over 200 directories that when I create a profile for you in my software, it will duplicate that profile across all these different directories. So it is consistent. So it is trusted. So it is coming from a good source. So it is um, all accurate. The keywords are correct. Everything is as good as AI would like to see it. So that's what I do. That's how I get my clients to the top of these searches. And that's exactly when the magic happens is when you have all this stuff in sync. Go to Bar Marketing Basics, scan your business, put your address, phone number, and uh, the business name in there. Scan it. It'll give you a full report in about 30 seconds of where you lie along all these all these uh, different ancillary type of directories. If you're there, if you're missing, most places are missing a ton. It'll give you a percentage of how many are missing. Usually, it's in the 80% wrong 
department. So if you end up scanning your 60, 70, 80% missing, some of them are 100% wrong, meaning there's at least, at least every directory is either missing or has errors, including the website, including the Google page, including Yahoo, Bing, all these, which is going to really, really be a detriment to your search engine ranking. Anyway, re run that uh, report. If you like what you see, if you want to do it yourself, by all means, you'll have to do it manually. It's, it's going to take months. And then keep this in mind. If you do want to do it manually, you're free to. The, these computers all share information with each other and all those platforms share information. So if you don't have something like a piece of software syncing these and locking the information in, you're going to upload your profile. It's going to be correct. It's going to be beautiful. 30 days later, you go and look at it and like, wait a minute, there's a bunch of edits that hit this that I didn't know about. And now your information is starting to go awry again. Now it's starting to be inconsistent. Now it's like, wait a minute, my hours aren't that. I didn't tell it to, to mark my hours or what's showing up. Right, because a lot of these, if one of these platforms gets your hours of operation wrong, other platforms will share that information, assuming it's correct. When we're not involved in the process, it just does it. So last thing you want is to do all that work just to have it be undone by these directory computers. So um, only way to lock it in is to use expensive SEO software or to use a firm like mine, like Bar Marketing Basics, like any of these guys out there that can uh, do professional grade SEO and lock your information in. Please run a scan and let me know what you think. If you'd like to hit me up after that, please do. If you don't, no worries. Okay, so that's a rundown of how AI com computers work and how they'll find your information or not find your information online. And there'll be a lot more AI-based podcasts, so stay tuned. Thank you.